This video is the preview of the full documentary of the mural that is being painted at Chihuahua Hill. The GoFundMe account and other information will be in the description below the video. Thank you. And action. Hi, this is Carlos. I want to talk to you about a mural I'm doing in Silver City. Uh, and Silver City and specifically in Chihuahua Hills, a certain community in Silver City, New Mexico. Uh, what you see is a city funded project uh, where they asked me to do a mural regarding this historic uh, community. Uh, Chihuahua Hill is like uh, one of the oldest uh, neighborhoods in the Silver City area uh, with a lot of history. So I won't get too much in detail about that, but uh, we're gonna just get an overshot view of it and then we'll start from, uh, from uh, one side working our way down and to the other side. This is Carlos Callejo's historical mural in Chihuahua Hill Park and, and the images here were all brought about by his understanding of what the community was asking for in terms of portraying the historical significance of our history, our traditions and our culture. We begin off here with the Zia symbol of course, which is an indigenous symbol, the four directions, the four seasons, etc. And we have the deer because this is a hunting community and we have the roots as, as our people are rooted in these traditions. Next to, next to that is Geronimo. And Geronimo, very important as a defender of the land and a leader of the, of, of the Apache people and also with his bow and arrows which is tied into the deer and the Zia symbol and the tradition of hunting and the tradition of, of defending land and resources. And as we move forward we go even further back into the Mogollon and the Mimbreño culture and the cliff dwellings, the ancient cultures of our society and our civilization here in this southwest area. And then uh, we have the deer as well, again, for food, for warmth, shelter, for tools. And then we have painters and our women carrying, carrying the, the basket of grains and food that is a testament to the hard work of our people, especially the, our women who are leaders of our culture and our communities. Tied in with that is the history of the labor movement here in the Southwest and in, in, in the mining um, community. And that's actually, so we have the two women tied together here as leaders, hardworking people, and, and, and the, the, the uh, protectors of our families and our children and, and our resources. And that's why we have the children here as well. And then the salt of the earth, the testament to, to the, the movie that was made in the 50s, but uh, to the, the struggle to, for desegregation in our communities um, uh, through the labor movement, which is one of the very first desegregation movements in our community to uh, empower the Mexican community in terms of hours, wages, and working conditions on the job and off the job in the community as well, to have equal access to resources here in Silver City. And Say the actress name. That's up. Uh, that's um, uh, Ros Rosada, Rosaura Revueltas. Revueltas. Uh -huh. yeah. She's a Mexican, famous Mexican actress that actually came here and was contracted to work in the movie with all the local actors here. And these are the women here, the moms in our community and the children in our community who played in that movie as well. Um, so the Salt of the Earth movement, the, the labor movement, wasn't just males who led led the movement. It was actually women who actually led it and helped win that movement as well. In, in short. And so Carlos Callejo here in the centerpiece of the mural portrays the hard work of the men with the support of the women and the children and the community. And instead of showing copper or silver or gold, we ha Carlos placed a heart in, in the womb of the earth as the workers are working, they're sacrificing their lives and giving their blood, sweat and tears to pull resources out of the out of the ground to help uh, us to have it a good living for for our future and the sacrifices that are made for for as for our community and as we move continue to move this way we have, he painted the kneeling man and if you if you shoot this way from this street here at Chihuahua Hill you can see the kneeling man all the way in the distance really clear, clear view and. So he, he, he continued to look at the mountain as he was painting the kneeling nun here and he tried to give it as much of a lively portrayal as he could with all the beautiful colors. And almost and those colors you can almost see all of the minerals 
all the copper, the gold, the silver, the turquoise. So he wanted to portray that as well in his painting using those colors. And it dominates the scene here. We have the underground miners as well. A testament to the underground miners before the open pit mining happened. And then a young lady, my, my daughter came and wanted a hummingbird here with, with uh, the woman near the kneeling nun as well, which is, the hummingbird is a symbol of life and renewal and, um, and strength and fire. And then as we continue to move on this way, we have uh, one of our, our, our grandma's, our abuelita's uh, painting, uh, a mimbreño bowl with the indigenous designs of water and fire and in the circle, of course, because our, our entire life is shaped around uh, the circle, our worldview, our spiritual traditions are all based on the circle. And here we have an agriculturalist. He painted an early, uh, uh, an early agriculturalist is uh, letting waters through probably in the acequias, right Carlos? Yeah, it was supposed to be, yeah, portrayed the irrigation system yes. that, that was used for the farming around here. And if you, if you, we're going to get down further into the image of Silver City where the farming comes back as well. And here, we, he, he portrays La Capilla, which is the centerpiece of the of Chihuahua Hill community. It's the, it's the small chapel, chapel and area where, where people who were considered outcasts in our community at a, at a time, they could come and worship here when they weren't allowed into the churches. Um, and the, the ancient, um, or the old history, of the procession that would happen, uh, particularly on the day of the Virgen, uh, the Virgen de Guadalupe. And um, he, he continued this way, you see the procession with the priest. And then he placed the image of Santa Rita. He, we, we took him out to visit um, the, the, uh, the saint out there uh, near the mines and he spent some time there and he spoke to the caretaker, took his time, took pictures, drew the images out and then place Santa Rita here as a protectress yes. of the workers and yeah, the miners. Supposedly Santa Rita is the patron saint for miners. Now, uh, some people say Santa Barbara, some people say Santa Rita. I wasn't sure, but I placed Santa Rita. But later on I was told that actually the procession took place every December the 12th, which is uh, Dia de Guadalupe. So we, instead of taking their, the, the statue down, we just added the Virgen de Guadalupe because these are two very important images that our people honor and respect for thousands of years, very dear to our heart. And it goes back again to, to the, the traditions that we have of honoring our women uh, as, the, as the protectors of our community. And the prayer and the, and the importance of, of services that respect and honor those days uh, and, 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 and how we, we honor them throughout the year. And here we get into the actual image of downtown Silver City. But, very important, at the same time that we were talking about Silver City, a lot of community members were coming through and reminding us that originally the name of Silver City was San Vicente de la Cienega. Okay? And Cienega means like marshes or waterways, right? It has to do with like, a, a, like a water and marshes. And this is an area where there's a lot of water. And um, so the original name was San Vicente de la Cienega and we portrayed that in a, <clears throat> one of our artists, Leticia Roybal, came and painted the flaming heart over the city to symbolize the life force of our community and tying it into all the workers and all of the history and the sacrifices that were made by the people in our community and that our life blood is invested in this town in this area of the southwest and it's forever it's an eternal flaming heart which which symbolizes the sacrifice and the love of of those of those uh, sacrifices that were made by by so many people in our community and as we continue to move forward towards the end of this you can kind of see we're getting shaped that way we're getting to the end of the mural here so one of the last images that we wanted to portray and carlos uh took it upon himself to, to paint a beautiful picture of Mangas, which kind of hugs the city and ties into Geronimo on the other side, which is a testament to the original inhabitants of this land, which is the Apaches. Here in this area, we have the Chiricahua Apache Nation. The tribal chairman of that is Joe Sines, and always doing cultural work, always in the community, um, sharing 
the history of the Apaches and um, helping people to understand that history. So this is a testament to that. And Mangas was in the early 1800s. He lived right out here in Manga Springs, which was Santa Lucia. And um, we wanted to portray that as well. And then, of course, here we have little animals that exist in our community. Here, especially in Chihuahua, Chihuahua Hill, our neighbors were telling us that these are the little animals, and especially this roadrunner. They live around here, the quail, the horny toad, and the rabbit. These are all little animals that, that live and exist around here in the community as well. And yet, yet to be completed. Yet to be completed. Yet to be completed. So this white spot still needs to be completed. And we'll be returning in about a couple of weeks. If you're interested in more um, information, you can go to GoFundMe. Chihuahua Hill Community Mural, Kinan Lopez, which is our documentarian and our photographer who will be, uh, he, he's, he's recording this to work with the Silver City Museum and our town manager Alex Brown uh, who helped make all this happen and we're working in conjunction together to, to preserve the history of this project and the museum wants to create a coloring book for children with these images that Carlos has graciously submitted to the museum to make a children's coloring book. And then we're going to have a grand opening where we would like to bring the community to enjoy this history and have a few speakers say a prayer and then um, work our way up to the park to have it refurbished if possible. So, but we're, it's still work in progress. <laughs>